Just a little test piece before we go larger. Not filmed. Hello all, welcome to my channel today. We are going to be doing a collaboration with the very talented Christine Jesnick. And uh, what we're doing here is we have to combine two techniques into one and we could choose any color sequence that we wanted. Um, so with that being said, I've coated my canvas with straight up black paint. I'm just popping some air bubbles. And uh, after my video is Christine, so please follow over to um, her channel after. And uh, yeah, so I'm really excited about this because I haven't done something like this before. And the two styles we are combining are a straight pour. Well, for me, she told me I had to do a swipe as one of my techniques. And I also gave her a technique to uh, do in combination with another technique. So you'll definitely have to check out her channel to see what I challenged her to do. Um, but I wanted to give this a try for a while now, and I'm really excited to do this. Um, let me see. I just got something in here. No. Oh, well, we'll see it when it pours out. Um, so this is definitely going to be fun. I did a test piece, as you saw in the beginning of this video. She is cute. Um, so yeah, I wanted to add the swipe, but because that's what I was challenged to do. But in addition to doing the swipe, I'm going to do the straight pour. And then I might actually take a golf ball through it as well. Um, but we will see. I forgot to do that on my test piece, but I'll have to wait to see how the puddles turn out after I pour them. And we're gonna do the blue. I'll go over my colors in a few minutes. But we're gonna do the first straight pour, I think, right there. That looks good. There we go. Yeah, I got some down here, but that's not a big deal. Just tap the paint and it goes away. There we go. All right, so that is one pour. I'll give it a torch. And then we're gonna layer up another cup. I'm thinking like my paint is, I'm using leftover paint. Don't judge me. <laughs> um, all right, so we've got the white, we've got 24K gold. See, I told you I'd tell you what colors. This is Liquitex Cobalt Blue, and this is Liquitex Bright Aqua Green. Let's come back in with some gold. And some of this white. I don't want too much. Back to it. All right, come in with some cobalt blue. And gold. And then I'll do cobalt blue one more time. There we go. 
And we're gonna come over on this side now. I'm gonna come right here. gonna put those to the side now I wanted negative space and the colors that I'm decided to use are from another pour that I've done in the past or similar to it it's not exactly like it but we're just gonna smear that out not that we have to because let's move the paints over here that I'm not gonna use anymore and I have my swiping tool. It is a palette knife number 15 from the Fluid Art Co. that I'll be putting my Amsterdam Titanium White mix with Australian Floetrol on the back. So I'm gonna do that. I might be doing that off camera, so I do apologize. And Molly does this a lot. Oops, I almost dropped my palette knife. All right, so I'm gonna come across. And then let's do it again. And then we're going to do it again. So I think I'm going to come in here. And then right here. And I love the way this one is pointy at the tips, so you can get into those fine places. <clears throat> all right, so we're leaving it here. I love all this lacing. This is actually one of my favorite parts. And now, why not bring in a golf ball? So let's see <laughs> how this does. This is not... as easy I don't want to mud it up so I'm just going to let it roll off there and now we are going to, do we want to stretch it? I don't think so, but maybe just a little. I think I want it to come off this edge down here. leave it just as is for the moment <clears throat> I love how this is kind of just wispily disappearing in the in the corner 
I'm gonna bring in a ninja stick for a moment. And I think I wanna just bring it in here. Definitely don't want to make mud out of it all. So yeah, I think this is it. We are going to bring you guys in for a close up in just a moment. Okay, here it is. So pretty. Pardon the overhead lights, but she is finished. And I am so happy I added in some of that with the stick. And then I love this area here. But yeah, I'm super happy with this. And I think I'll play a little more with this technique or combination of. All right, all, thank you so much for joining us. I will have the dried results in my next video. It, it, this is actually um, airing tomorrow, so it won't be dry in time. <clears throat> so with that being said, please head over to Christine's page um, or YouTube channel. Her link is below. Uh, she is premiering next, and I can't wait to see what she did with a recycled canvas. Have a great day. Bye.